Welcome to the first AFC event, Boxing Edition, and it's a friendly, non-official, light contact tournament where hobbyists and amateurs can test their skills and gain new experiences. Let's get ready to rumble! Alright, for this match now we have Carol vs Alex. Now, it already looks like Carol wants to go more on the offensive and shorten the distance, which is good. There are a few touches already. Now, the way that you will notice that Alex ducks a lot, he brings his body down to keep his head out of the way, which forces Carol to punch downwards when you have a shorter arm that can be a little bit uncomfortable there, but on the short distance there we go on the short there he should have kept pushing through and the short distance Alex is very uncomfortable yeah Alex is the of, of all the guys he is the one that likes the long range the most he uses that lead hand to fight from as long and far as possible so the best strategy, as I said before, would just be to smother him, to go on top of him. There, there, just put him against the ropes and throw combinations. There we go. From the information I have, Carol has the least experience of, of all these guys, but he's doing a good job. He's doing a good job. He's not afraid to go forward. He did, he just ate a punch there, but he is trying to, to move forward. good exchange there. From that camera angle I didn't see very well if the punch is connected but yeah they're they're both less aggressive right now. We're like looking for an opening. That's where whoa good punch. Great punch there. That's where Carol has to keep pressing. Good job by Carol who is the least experienced one. Some good punches to the body there. Again, because Alex just wants to use the long distance, it limits his resources. Also, running around and losing sight of the opponent is not a good thing. Ale Carol is less technical, Carol, but he does go forward. That was a great punch over there. Let's go for round two. Let's see what happens here. Great job there. He's going forward trying to push him. To excellent. Especially when you know you're not going to go full contact. When it's like semi-contact. You can actually go forward more comfortably. Because you know you're not going to get hurt. So that's what he's doing. And he's doing a good job there. For the le least experienced one, he's he's actually doing really really well. He did put a, a few more good punches in there. There's also the fact that when you go against someone that does not have refined a technique, it makes things difficult sometimes because you cannot read the movements of your opponent, so you cannot react accordingly good counter there yes Alex is doing the the Jeet Kune Do type of thing where he just wants to thrust in with that lead punch he waits and when he sees the opportunity he lunges forward with the lead punch good lead punch to the body there that jab that is a long reaching jab Carol landed a lot of punches, but the cleaner looking punches are those long jabs by Alex. If Alex gets this fight, fight as a win, it's because of those long reaching jabs to the body that are very clear. See, when they get close like that and there's an exchange, it's not clear. It's very hard to see which punches connect and which don't. See, there's a lot of punches there, but if they hit on the guard, those are not actual 
proper points. But yeah, I, I have to say, Carol's aggression and courage were very good here. Great job. Going forward, pressuring, trying to cut the distance. If he had better technique, he would have won this match. But I think Alex is going to be the winner because of those cleaner, more clear punches that he landed. There you go, he landed. He lands a couple of clean, clear jabs, one after another, to the face of the body. Where Carol just tries to push through, but his punches are a little Im imprecise. Carol, the technique is not woo, refined. Woo. <laughs> Incredible, wow, good, he won.